Komatsu Dash 8 Series Excavator Monitor Panel carries a full series of diagnostic capabilities and data monitoring functions. The keypad is used to access the service mode. Hold the number 4 down and press 1, 2, and 3 in succession. The service menu will come up. The F marked keys are for navigation through the menus. We'll go into the abnormality menu to start with and show how to review present and past potential problems and how to clear them out of the memory. The first sub-menu is titled Mechanical Systems. Selecting it will show occurrences and the number of times it happened when the machine was being operated outside of its design parameters. The display will further provide the number of times each occurrence has happened and the hour meter reading for the first and last. We'll go back one level and then into the electrical systems menu. This menu shows items that may not be working correctly. Shown here are logged codes with short descriptions of what they mean. It follows the same format as the mechanical section showing the number of occurrences plus hour meter readings for the first and last time each happened. There is provision made for clearing the codes out of the monitor if the reason for them has been repaired. Use the same button press procedure for the clear command to show on the monitor panel. The word clear will show above the F2 button. Press the button and the screen will ask all reset. Press the check button to confirm and the codes will disappear from the screen. Let's go back to the mechanical menu again and see if that information will clear. We punch the code in again and this time nothing happens. The mechanical codes can't be cleared and will stay in memory. Going back to the abnormality menu again, and we'll go down to the air conditioning system menu. This is a status menu showing the condition of the system components. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen the word clear shows. The system stayed in that mode when we left the mechanical system. Pressing the F2 button will clear the red status indicators and normal will show until the system is run again. If the problems are still there, the indicators will shift back to the red abnormal indication again. We can shift out of the service mode just by cycling back through the menu or simply turning off the key switch. We have access to the monitor functions and their sub-menus by going into the service menu again. The Komatsu monitor system allows you to select up to six different functions to watch at the same time. We'll enter the monitor menu and select three different items for an example. In this case, they are engine speed, front pump pressure, and rear pump pressure. We highlight each item and press the check mark button. When we have all that we want, we hold the check mark button for a couple seconds until the screen shifts. There are pages of items we can watch working in real time to make troubleshooting much more intuitive and faster. We're going to go back into the monitor menu again and cycle through all the data points that are available to a technician to use for checking performance and troubleshooting problems. As you can see, Komatsu has provided a very powerful tool for keeping these machines operating at peak efficiency. 
I would like to extend my thanks again to the people at Evergreen Tractor in Seattle, Washington for allowing us to use their machines to show you the power of the onboard systems to monitor performance and minimize downtime. If this video is helpful to you and you would like to see more of this type of information, please press the like button on YouTube and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time.